What's up everyone? Today's video is my Sephora haul. So this is actually the online order that I talked about making in my last Sephora haul. So I purchased some items that I talked about in that video. I also added a couple other things to the cart, took some things out. It's not the craziest, biggest haul ever, but I'm really excited. I'm so pumped. So anyways, if you guys are brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. My name is Madison. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you love unboxings, hauls, reviews, all that fun stuff, hit that subscribe button. And then also give this video a thumbs up if you really love Sephora hauls, because I know I do. And also comment down below what you guys picked up from the sale now that the sale is officially over. It makes me so sad that the sale is over, but makes me happy because I'm actually filming this on the 12th and Disney Plus came out. <laughs> I am like so obsessed with Disney Plus right now. I am like having a full on marathon. I'm so sad because I just had to stop Pinocchio to film this video, but yeah, I, I'm watching it like crazy. I'm seriously gonna be MIA if you wonder where I'm at. I'm probably watching Disney Plus right now. Also, comment down below what you guys were most excited to watch on Disney Plus so you can give me some ideas of what to put on my little list. I already started like a little watch list. All right, I'm gonna stop jibber jabbering. Let's get into this haul. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up is this product right here. And this is the one I was talking to you guys about. This is the Bumble and Bumble BB Prep Primers. You just spray it in your hair and it really helps you tangle the hair and also make it a little bit more manageable to work with. And I love the dry bar, what's it called? It's that little pink spray. What's it called? I purchased it in the last one. I forgot the name of it, but I love that spray. I've been through so many full sizes of that one, but I saw this online and I was really intrigued by this one. And I just want to try something out new. And I love the Bumble and Bumble line. So I wanted to go pick this up in store, but it wasn't there. It said it was only available online. So I picked this up. It's a really reasonable size. You get quite a bit of product very excited to try you out. I will be washing my hair ASAP and then checking that one out and seeing which one I like better. Cause I know I love the dry bar one, but this one, I don't know. It's just something about it is like making me be like, Ooh, maybe you're going to be my new like love. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So <laughs> this next purchase that I made, I opened up the box and I was just like, I wonder if they did have it on display and I just didn't see it because I was not expecting it to be this small. This is that Bite Beauty lip kit that I told you guys about. It's called the Creamy Color. It's four piece mini amuse boosh supercharged lipstick set. So you get four little mini lipsticks. Thought this thing was gonna be a lot bigger than what it is. And that's why I'm guessing maybe it was in store and I just didn't see it because just look at the size comparison to my hand. What the hell, this thing is tiny. But I really wanted to try these out, but I honestly was not expecting this. This is the size of the component right here, so you guys can kind of see how much product you're getting. It's really small, but I feel like these are still a great way to kind of test out the formula, test out the shades that you like. If there's a shade in here that you really love, then purchase a full size. So this first one right here is called Good Jujube. I don't know if I even said that right, but this color looks really pretty. Oh yeah. That is really pretty. This is definitely a color that I would totally purchase in a full size. It literally looks like the same color on my lips right now. I always get questions asked about what I'm wearing on my lips. I'm wearing my collection with Ofra Cosmetics. It's my liquid lipstick in Oh My Rai Rai. I love this stuff. It is great. It's such a beautiful color and they're so comfortable, but it looks very similar to that in a lipstick form. So that's really cool. So this is definitely a color right here that I would purchase in the full size because I do love the formula of these. Next up, we have Ruby Bonbon. Bon. <gasps> you gotta be shitting me. Go Seriously? This little thing just flew right out. What the heck? <laughs> this sucks. It's like it got like smashed or melted or some type of thing. I don't even know. That is really a bummer. This one's gonna be kind of hard to use for myself. I would probably use a lip brush with it and like put it in there and then put it on my lips to make it a little bit easier. But there is the color. The color is pretty. It's a really pretty cool tone pink. That really sucks. Let's hope this doesn't happen again. The next color that we have is Cocoa Bite. Oh, you good. You good. This one's good. Oh, this looks pretty. It looks more like a warm nude. Let's see. Oh, oh my God. This is beautiful. This shade is so pretty, you guys. How have I never seen you before? This is gorgeous. This is definitely one I want to purchase a full size in because this is so pretty. It's like a really gorgeous like deeper nude that would be great for the fall and the winter time i'd love it yes that's a big thumbs up there you just saved this one's butt because 
this one just almost ruined it for me. Anyways, last but not least, the last color that we have in here is Cherry Truffle. And this looks like more like a deeper red. Let's see this. Oh, you're pretty. I like this red. It is a kind of a deep oxwood red. That is a really pretty color right there for the holidays. So I think this is a great little kit. They definitely are smaller than what I anticipated and having this one just be like a complete dud really sucks, but it definitely introduced a, like a few new shades in here that I really like. So I will probably, I kind of, now that I'm really bummed that the, that the sale is done because I would have totally purchased the full size of those lipsticks. Sticking with the lip products here. So this next one I saw pop up on this Sephora website before the sale went live and I tried to add it to my cart, but it wasn't launched yet. So I think they launched this during the sale. And I love the brand called Kosas. Kosas? I think it's Kosas. I love the brand. I love their tinted face oil. It's a really nice lightweight oil that is perfect for people who have dry skin. If you're oily, stay away from that one. I think it's gonna be way too like dewy oily for you. Um, it won't work, but if you have dry skin, I think you will absolutely love it. And I love it for like an everyday foundation. I feel like I'm losing a lash on this side, lash extension problems. Anyways, so I really love that. And I really want to try out more from the brand. And this is their new wet lip oil gloss and it looked really pretty. They have a few different colors. The one that I picked up is called jellyfish. Oh, your packaging is so unique. Look at that. You know what it reminds me of? What are those little bubble gum? I think they're like a Mexican, is it Mexican bubble gum that they come in those little packs and they look like that and you can like break them apart and chew them. That's what these remind me of right here. That's instantly what I thought of when I opened this. But this is what the product looks like. The packaging is gorgeous, really pretty. And then let's check out the, ooh, so here's the lip oil. You know what? We're gonna, this will probably actually Smells good too. It's not like an over scent. I would totally put this on my lips, but since it's a lip oil, I think it will totally break down my liquid lipstick. So I don't know how well that's gonna work and I really don't want to get that color onto this gloss. So I'm not going to put this on right now. I was very tempted, but I'm gonna hold off. I will try this out on my Instagram stories later on and I'll let you guys know what I think about it over there. Next up, I also picked up another foundation. This is the Aqua Foundation, Kogan Do. Love this stuff. I have a few like everyday foundations that I absolutely love, but I always come back to this one. This one just, ugh, I just cannot have this not in my collection. And I ran out of all my lighter shades. The only shades I have left are 143, which is for when I'm self tanned right now. This is the shade 012. So this is the shade that I wear when I have absolutely no color on me. It's like my fairest. And I think this is even the fairest shade that they sell on Sephora. So I restocked up on this one because it is such an expensive foundation. It's $77, I know, it's insane, but it's so good. I recommend going to Sephora asking for a sample of this because you can get a sample of anything there. Get a sample of this and try it out and just wear it and you'll see what I'm saying. Like, especially when I'm even having really bad breakouts, I go back to this and I wear it every single day, even when I'm filming, if I'm having a bad breakouts and it helps clear my skin. There's nothing in it that combats acne, but I think it's that it doesn't irritate my skin at all and it lets my skin breathe still. So that's why it does well for when I'm like trying to clear up any breakouts, but hands down one of my top favorite foundations that I cannot not have in my collection with me. So I recommend it. It's just freaking pricey. I know it's, it breaks the bank big time. Okay. So next up is a skincare set that I got and I love the Ren line. Ren has been just really impressing me. I've been using that glycolic one that I showed you guys in the last haul that is kind of a dupe for the drunk elephant. And it really is kind of a dupe for it. I need to try it out when I actually have a breakout to see if it helps like reduce any inflammation in my skin like the drunk elephant one does. But so far it reminds me a lot of it. You still kind of do get that stinging sensation from it that you get from the drunk elephant one. So I don't think the drunk elephant one is like much harsher than it. I think it's a little bit harsher, but just by a tad bit. Like I still get that tingly sensation from the Ren one and it made my skin feel so good. I've used it a few times already. I feel like I get almost the same results as a drunk elephant, which has been like a big plus because the price difference is 
a lot. Like, you know the Drunk Elephant one is a lot more pricier, but I love them both, you guys. I recommend them both. I got really drawn to this because I love that ultra calming overnight balm that I have from Ren. It's from this line and it does such amazing things for the skin. You guys, if you have really sensitive skin that is just getting inflamed and you, can ha you can't handle much makeup or skincare, check out this line because I have read so many amazing reviews about it. I love one of the products from the line that I've already been trying. So I wanted to try out more. So I thought this would be a more inexpensive way of trying a few products out to see if I like it. So this is the Stop Being So Sensitive and it retails for $30, $30 but it has a total $50 value in it. You get the cleanser, which is a gentle cleansing milk. I was really excited to try that out. Then you also get the anti-redness serum, which is what I deal with. And then the ultra comforting rescue mask and the global protection day cream. This is the size of the cleansing milk right here, which is very reasonable. These would be great travel pieces. And then we have the day cream. Then we have the rescue mask. And last but not least is the anti-redness serum. I am most excited to try out the anti-redness serum just because I get really splotchy around my nose and my lips and stuff, which is, it's hormones. So I don't really know how well a serum's gonna help that, but we'll see if it does or not. I'll definitely keep you guys updated on it, but I'm very excited to try out some of these products from the line just because they're really good for sensitive skin. Last but not least, I had to show you guys my little sample that I got because I got really excited to see this on the 100 points one. This is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse Balm. This stuff is awesome. I love this stuff. I love Dermalogica. And I got really excited when I saw them have that on the points, which can we just say, I know this is like a broken record across everyone's channel. Sephora Rewards program sucks. It sucks so bad. They really need to do what Ulta does where you can get money back because I saved so much money over at Ulta. So when I saw that I could redeem this for 100 points, I was like, yep, go into my cart because I love this stuff and I'm definitely gonna save this one for traveling because that is like the perfect size right there. But that is everything I got from the Sephora haul. I have to say this is probably the shortest Sephora haul known on my channel. I know it was really quick, but I am excited. I got a couple items that I just wanted to pick up that I wasn't able to pick up in store. And I will definitely keep you guys updated on my Instagram story. So make sure to go follow me there. I know I always say it, but it's because I'm always on there and I'm always linking and always giving you guys updates on stuff. And comment down below what you guys purchased at the sale. And I will see you guys in my next video.